when you go launch Kids Corner, that creates a space. So you, think that you then hand the phone to the child and it's then their, their space so they can, they can play it. But they can only access the applications and the games that you've ticked. Once you've put them in Kids Corner, that's it. They're locked in there. Yes, yeah, so they can't get out without putting a password in. Yes, that's great. I like that. Welcome to Family Gamer TV. I'm back with the Sharps and um, we've been talking about playing games on mobile phones. Which um, So you've got three kids. Yep. Remind us of the ages. Okay, so they're 14, 12, almost 13 and 10. Mm -hmm. So have they got their own phones at that age yet? When, when have you... Right, well yes they do have phones. The older two have um, smartphones, you might describe them as. The youngest one has a phone which is a second hand from his sister which he carries in his bag for when he's picked up on the bus in the afternoon at school. So the older one has a Galaxy Y, so it's quite a okay Android phone. The middle one has an ancient HTC Windows phone which you can't really play any games on, okay. which is a great bugbear. But um, yes, they all have phones and we've given them phones for um, so that we can contact them mm -hmm. because they tend to travel on the bus or the train to school and home again. Mm -hmm. So those phones probably have a browser on if they're a smartphone. Have you done anything in terms of sort of locking down what content they can and can't access? Not up to this stage, no. Um, it's something we would be very interested in to look at, but certainly with Android, um, we haven't looked at that. And the, as I say, the HTC is so old that it's, it's actually functionally useless yeah, to go. So they're on. probably safe because they can't actually yeah, get to exactly. it. That's right. So the. Uh, the security is merely that they can't use it, exactly. Well, um, something I've been working on is a, a website called um, Whole Family Safety, which is an initiative by Microsoft around Christmas. And um, they produced a letter here, which we can open in a sec, okay, um, yeah. so that as people bought new technology, mm -hmm. they offered them some advice of how to get started in terms of setting up safety controls and parental right. settings and things like that. Okay, that sounds very useful. So a along with the letter, it sort of gives, gives them a start and it also then goes to a website. And what I like about that website is it's groups by age group, so if you want advice for, say, 6, six to 13 or something mm -hmm. like that, you can go and see what they're saying in terms of what you should be setting up on different, advice, uh, different devices. Mm -hmm. But also they have information grouped by device. So if you want to go and look at smartphones, you could go and browse, um, what should I do on my smartphone before I sort of give it to my 13-year-old, that sort okay. of thing. Yes, very good. Yeah, it's amazing how many people have um, iPhones and things and give them to their toddlers. I have to say that. Uh, but so part of that advice is for mobile phones. So we've got a, a new Nokia Windows Phone 8 um, mobile here. Obviously, giving that to a child, they can do an awful <laughs> lot on it because it's yes. got a browser, you know, and they can go on the internet. Um, also, it might have your own information yes. on it that you want to lock away yeah, now. Such, yeah. A feature on um, Windows Phone 8 is that you can set up um, a kids zone. So if we go to the home screen, okay. down the bottom I set this up, Kids Corner. Mm -hmm. So what you do, you set up... Um, a, an area of your phone mm -hmm. with, that you you turn on before handing the phone to maybe a young child, mm -hmm. and you can say which games, whether they can play music, and which functions of the phone will be enabled. Very useful. Yes. Um, so, I mean, do you think that's, that's the sort of thing which you might look at if you had a more advanced phone for Definitely. your kids? I, I have to say one thing, something my, my wife was worried about recently, or certainly we talked about, mm -hmm. was um, how we can you know change the settings on the phones to make them um, a bit more, what's the word I'm looking for? So, so we can be reassured on what they're, they're using them for, certainly. Yeah. And it doesn't necessarily have to be sort of you controlling, you know, mm -hmm. the phone on the child's behalf, but you can actually have a um, conversation with them mm -hmm. about, you know, what do you think is appropriate, which games do you think we should have on yeah. here? And it become, can become their area. So um, as we'll have a little look at this. Um, so if, if you navigate down to the bottom, um, I was, we were looking at a thing called Kids Corner, um, which is a special app. So if you've got the phone, you can set this up and specify... Um, which things the the child can use before you hand them the phone. So if you, if you tap on games, you can see we've got one of the games selected, um, and that means that when you go launch Kids Corner, so that that creates a space. So you think that you then hand the phone to the child, and it's then their their space, so they can they can play it. But they can only access the applications and the games that you've ticked, and so they they can't get out of it apart from using those. Once you've put them in Kids Corner, that's it. They're locked in there. Yes, they can't get out without putting a password in. Yes, that's great. I like that. Because the trouble is they, they use my phone, which is a Samsung Mini thing. Yeah. Samsung Galaxy Mini. Um, and they can access anything, even if they're playing on a game. 
Not that they do, but yeah. they could, couldn't they? But and if you've got an internet browser, potentially then, you know, if you're tracking that in other areas or, you know, you're aware of what they're doing yeah. on the phone, it's a bit out of sight, out of mind. Yeah. So I know in my family, I quite like the idea that I can set that up. Yeah. And I know exactly what they're doing. Mm, definitely, yeah. It's like um, if you put them on a tablet, you know, you can turn off everything apart from the games and they can just play on yeah. what you want them to. So then if, if you'd finished playing the game, you'd, you'd um, tap the Windows button on the right. Can you see that one? Yeah. But that takes them back to their home screen. Um, so again, they can't get out. But as well as setting up what they can and can't do, the, when they go into that, if you launch it, um, then they can have their own picture when it starts and it, they can actually change some of the settings mm -hmm. to make it feel like it's their space on right. the phone. Excellent. So not just controlling them, it's actually saying, oh, here's, here's a safe space, but you can actually enjoy yeah. it more by having yeah. that set up. So giving them boundaries, but setting them free within that. That's good, yeah, excellent. The other thing I was looking at um, in relation to some of this advice was the new um, Surface tablet. Have you seen that from Microsoft? I have seen one, yes. And what, what do you think? Um, yeah, very good. Um, certainly my colleague at work who's got one, he seems to be never separated from <laughs> it, literally never separated yeah. from it. So... Yeah, I mean, so it gives some advice for how to set, how to set that up. But what I like about um, the Surface tablet is that it has the um, the cover and the keyboard all built into one. Have you seen that? Mm -hmm. So the back the back flips yeah. out and you can place it down. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And also, interestingly, having seen it in, in a university lecture theatre, of course, it fits very nicely on the little bench at, in front of the seats as well. Yeah. So it's uh, it's certainly the right size yeah. on the Surface. So that's good. Yeah, nice. I like that sort of novelty of being to take your take your tablet into lectures. And it sounds like the the um, the kids' corner would be a, a sort of a, a nice bonus to have on, on your phone. So um, maybe we'll help you get that set up. Yep. Well, no, great. I, I think they would love to uh, get their hands on it. And I'm <laughs> quite keen that they didn't change every setting on the phone. That's all we've got time for this week on Family Gamer TV. But we'll be back with more soon.